Hey peoples, Karina here coming to you with this video. As you see, the title is below. Don't even worry about what I'm looking like, okay? Yeah, I got my coffee because it's coffee time, chit chat time. Yeah, I got all this going on. Okay, it don't even much matter. Okay, because I'm comfy. And a chick just woke up. I'm making this video because look. Yeah, I know y'all noticed, and I combed out my twists or whatever. It's time to wash and do something else. Because shit, whatever. It's time to do whatever. But anyway, it's not even about that. Y'all see the title is below, right? Stop worshiping your pastor. He's human too. Or she's human too. However, whatever you got going on. But before I get into that, let me start by saying this. Some of y'all ain't getting notifications because allegedly one of my videos was reported. Actually, a couple of my videos have been reported or whatever. Because people are like, oh, well. It isn't, you know, I'm mad about whatever, so I'm just going to report her fucking videos. Okay, yes, I cuss a lot in my videos sometimes. But life is so freaking bad right now. Can y'all see me? I hope you can. But anyway, and about that, what it's really about is some of my videos are hitting people kind of hard to the point they can't fucking take what they hear so watch me make a video probably not this one watch me make a video where i'm not using gratuitous curse words and somebody's still gonna be offended and with that being said let's go ahead and get off into this video if y'all hear noises outside it's because uh in the morning sometimes uh, when people bring baskets from grocery stores and push them anywhere, whatever, they have this big um, truck thing where they put them on the back and then they they go, in, they go around the neighborhood and collect them or whatever like that and then they take them back to the store. They legit have a truck to do that for that store. So anyway, let me make sure this thing doesn't fall from what I'm... Okay, anyway, y'all can see me good. All right, I just want to make sure it's together. But anyway, because I don't need it like falling down while I'm trying to do whatever. So let's get off into the video. I think look crooked. It's all good. I'll fix it later. I didn't realize that was crooked. But anyway... It ain't even about all that. Just pay attention to the words that are about to come out of my mouth. Yes, I know I ain't matching. I don't give a fuck. This is the first time I probably made a whole ass video showing my whole ass self. You know what I mean? But anyway, we ain't going to be doing no spin and turn or whatever. Does little booties matter? <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Let me stop being silly. But on a serious note. Stop worshiping your pastor because they're human too. And there's some other video topics that I want to talk about because when I check my emails, I'm like, I already told people, if what you asking me to make a video about does not resonate with me and I don't have no real solid ass advice about it, I'm not going to make it. But if it resonates or I can relate, yeah, I'll make a video about it. Because honestly, you really shouldn't make a video about something that you can't relate to. Something you think you know, but you don't really know. Leave that video making to somebody else. But I say that to say this. Some of y'all... And keep in mind before I say what I got to say, I am not religious at all. I've been in certain 
sex or whatever like that. So I can say what I'm saying from full experience, okay? Some of y'all go to church. Well, now you can't probably just go into the church or whatever like that. It maybe have to be online or whatever. But um, a lot of y'all go to church and sit there just because y'all got on a nice suit, nice whatever. And you sit and you like staring at the pastor and his wife and y'all are like, oh my God, uh, let's just glorify the pastor. And oh my God, I really want the life you and your wife have y'all are relationship goals, but you don't know what that man is going through behind the scenes. People will show you what the hell they want you to see. And that's just not just pastors or whatever. But some of y'all don't even understand they're human too. And a lot of them stay in bad situations because truthfully, They've been rejected so much that they feel like, okay, well, if I follow my heart and I do what I'm supposed to do, who's going to leave me? Here's the thing. People who are really in it for you ain't going to leave when your life changed. People who are really, really in it ain't going to leave when your life changed, okay? Okay. I legit went to a church a long time ago that people were like, oh, bless you and your wife. And, I, you know, I want to be like this and that. You need to be careful with that. When you wishing to have somebody else's life, you, you don't even really know what you're doing. When you wishing to have somebody else's life, and so you decide to just try and go get um, – in the same predicament like maybe you'll just you'll try to dress like them talk like them act like them hell you might even try to go get somebody that look like who this person is married to and when you wish for other people's life when you don't even know what's going on on the back end what you're really attracting to you is the facade of what they have and then you also get those problems that they don't speak about too you'll get that abusive partner whether it be verbally emotionally mentally physically spiritually because some people will take scriptures and twist them to suit their needs to keep you in fuck shit It's unfortunate, but a lot of people do it. Here's the thing. Your pastor is still human at the end of the day. Or different people that you see that that's teaching on YouTube or teaching on Facebook or doing anything. They still freaking human at the end of the day. They have needs. They have wants. They have desires. And a lot of stuff can just be like totally avoided in your life if you stop wishing for the life of other fucking people. And then all of a sudden you see a split happen and then it's like, oh my God, the devil has got into their marriage. No, sweetie, that's not what that is. If you know that you are linked up with somebody that you ain't supposed to be with, and you start praying and asking God to fix it, the opposite going to happen. If you saying, bless my marriage, God know what marriage you really supposed to be in. And God see the marriage that you're in. And I can speak from experience because I dealt with that. Okay? And didn't give no fucks how I looked walking away from that shit. Because the people that's supposed to rock with you going to rock with you. And if people leave your life because of whatever... It's going to be new people going to come into your life because they're going to see how you are, what you're about. They're going to see the real you. They're going to see your soul. Regardless to what other stuff look like. And they'll support you. Okay? So a lot of times you don't get supportive people in your life because... You want to hold on to a facade of what shit is supposed to be. So 
don't be looking at your past the wrong or sideways because they're human and they go through shit, okay? You don't know if that man is at home beating on his wife and buying her presents. You don't know if it's vice versa. You don't know that. You don't know that, okay? And if there is a important events that this pastor got on, but the wife is never available to be a helper, or if she is, there's some kind of underhanded, dirty shit going on, don't nobody need that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody deserves somebody to be supportive in their corner. I don't give a fuck what you believe in. How you get whatever like that. Because a lot of people, what y'all don't understand is spirituality and religion is like this. Spirituality may be considered you taking the back road to somewhere that you're supposed to be in life. Religion take you like the long way. You know, like you got to sit there and suffer and please other people. Now, I know this is not, some people be like, oh no, this is. I love the Lord and this is whatever like that. Because I'm going to tell you like this. When I was married to the pastor a long ass fucking time ago. And I don't have problem with all people who are in that sect. No. It's just specific certain things. When you start putting a person's title or position above their human side. You're going to be in trouble. This one bitch told me. I started working somewhere else, and then they told me, they were asking me a long time ago, they were like, oh, well, I remember when you came to eat with your husband. Oh, you so-and-so wife. I'd be like, no, used to be their wife. She'd be like, oh, well, I thought that since that's a man of God, that, that, that pastors and their wives, they're supposed to be so covered from God that they don't have no problems. It's just the opposite. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter if they're a pastor or a regular-ass dude and some regular-ass clothes doing a regular-ass life with a regular-ass job. There's always things that they don't tell you, okay? And when I was dealing with my shit and I legit went to people for help, they, how dare you speak against the man of God? That man is human, okay? Stop with the fucking bullshit. All them people that I used to know then, I don't even fuck with them people no more, Okay? Because y'all was praising a fucking facade. You know, for somebody to say, oh, well, you know, they supposed to be above problems. They never have a problem. That is a fuck shit lie. Okay? That is a fuck shit lie. Some of them going through more shit than a little bit in your ass. Okay. Have I seen some people who are actually married and they are the same person out in public that they are at home? Yeah, I can say that because I legit knew uh, when I was in that arena, it was like, they even much knew when we would go to their house, me and my ex-husband, we used to go to their house. The facade me and my ex-husband put up for them people versus how we was like away from there. Only the people that were really close to us knew what the hell was going on. And he even had a pastor friend tell him, look, that's not how you treat your wife or whatever. Because I remember um, it was supposed to be me and his anniversary or whatever. Went to go to another pastor in his wife's house. And the pastor pulled out some money and gave to his wife and said, you and sister so-and-so go get y'all's hair done. So we went and that was the first time I had got like one of those uh, straighteners to where it looked like your hair swinging like Chinese hair, I'm talking about like it was, I'm talking about every single curl was knocked the fuck out and it was hanging and swinging and looking real nice and everything like that. And like I was conditioned down, okay? It was conditioned down. Like, I mean, it was like a bomb ass job. So I'm sitting there while I'm getting my hair done. And 
sister so-and-so telling me she's like oh your husband gonna love it and i was like well with all due respect my husband don't compliment me for nothing other people would look at me and go ooh, woo, 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 hell and even once even not getting out of all that one of my very best um friends at the time was married to the other pastor but i had met her through church or whatever being she took the road of spirituality and was teaching me a little things along the way. He decided he didn't want to be with her no more. Because of all that. But he was trying to hit on me. And I'm like, what the, what, what, what? Ain't you and my husband supposed to be friends? But whatever. Got back from the beauty shop. Beauty salon, whatever you want to call it. Hair place, whatever. Actually, it was at this girl house. That, that uh, they knew or whatever, one of their family members, friends or whatever like that. She lived in a big old house in a nice ass neighborhood. So we had to go way out there. We had to drive. Well, she had to go like 30 or 45 minutes to get to the girl house. But there's an area in her kitchen that was made into a freaking shop. Okay. Because like her husband had it like fixed that way. So got back today house after we left from getting our hair done well actually we went to ross after that and got a couple of things too but left from going to get the hair done we got back her husband is all like oh you look so beautiful sister oh baby uh wrap that hair or whatever like that for tonight because i'm gonna show how much i love you in the lord you know just cold talking freaky shit because look don't get it twisted just because you a pastor don't mean you can't freak up on your wife. Or if you think you a uh, pastor wife and you think you ain't going to be a freaky ass bitch, that's how you open the door for a motherfucking devil to come in and take your fucking husband. Okay? Let's be real. Sex ain't evil. Some people use that shit as a weapon. But that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. He never complimented shit that I did, whatever. And other people thinking, oh, well, that's a, that's brother so-and-so or that's pastor so-and-so or that's apostle so-and-so, whatever. And, oh, look, look how his wife be looking. Look this and that or whatever. That man ain't never said, oh, baby, you look nice, nothing like that or whatever. But it took, like I say, that was a karmic motherfucker I was with. I mean, hell, I didn't even know about Twin Flames at the time. And all the other bullshit that was going on and going around and going down. Nobody fucking knew about all of that. But that's another video for another time. Should this one upload, I'll be making more. Or even if it don't upload today, I'm still going to make more. And they're going to upload when they're going to upload. See... careful what you say about other people's lives and what you think they should do because unless you on the back side of that shit and you know exactly what the fuck it is you have no rights okay no rights because what you're gonna do is you're gonna attract the same fucking situation to your life to where it's you who are stuck in something and you're scared and you can't tell nobody to get out, okay? And you, a lot of people, they go through, the reason people go through a lot of fucking marital problems is they marrying people just for fucking show up because somebody else told them they should be. The people that should really be married are the people that legit love each other. And I say legit love each other, but you know, what the fuck does that mean? That love each other in the sense of what other people think or love each other in the sense of I love you when you fat. I love you when you skinny. I love you with your hair short. I love you with your hair long. Whatever. That type of shit. You know? Or say y'all y'all like into different things or whatever. But here's the deal. Like I said before in a past video had that situation go however it's gonna go whatever like that being supportive to one another and their endeavors is number one okay but you can't be uh 
praising your pastor and they back door abusing their wife or their wife is abusing them or you see some little funky ass kiss to where it looks like it's because energy speaks you know what i'm saying like pictures speak you know what i'm saying and you could tell when somebody loves their spouse versus if they don't love their spouse even if they faking it you could feel the energy from the person like nah this this ain't where it's at this ain't where it's at when you really love somebody you're gonna fight for them and a lot of times sometimes i mean you just decide like weigh shit out and be like okay is it worth this is it worth that do they have a crazy baby mama or a crazy ex-wife that Or try to destroy their life because, oh, well, you ain't with me or this and that. Or they try to make that person um, get a surgery to where they can't get anyone pregnant. So that when they leave you, you the only motherfucker walking around with their child. Heard of it. Heard of it recent. Okay, but don't you know that shit can be reversed? Don't you know that um, there's still a way? to have a child if you want to and not just that it's it's a lot you know because some bitches don't be thinking when they do certain shit some bitches don't literally don't be thinking okay you wouldn't want to be linked to nobody like that no way that feels like oh you gonna you think you're gonna be happy with this man and the ex trying to make your life miserable you have to decide okay you and that motherfucker got to sit down and be like, look, this shit ain't working no more. This shit ain't never worked. It should have never happened. Whatever. Part ways and be fucking adults about the situation. But then some people don't know how to be adults about the situation. Because when good dick is attached to something toxic, you have to think about it. Do you want to be with this person because they got good dick, but they attached to somebody toxic? Or whatever like that. Because you got some people that decide, okay, some women ain't going to tell the man, you know what, deuces. Sometimes they'll wait for the man to say deuces and they'll be like, oh my God, I'm relieved. Sometimes people do that on purpose. Let you give up on something before they give up on it. So that way they can use the fact that you gave up on something to try to make it seem like you went somewhere else and you cheated. Which ain't the fact. Because if you've been abusing your spouse... And people know about it or they seen it or whatever the fuck happened. They already know what the fuck it is. Some of y'all be worried about the wrong fucking thing. And whatever's supposed to happen, gonna happen. Where there's, uh, for, your, uh, for you to be back with your divine masculine or a divine soulmate. Whatever like that. I mean, because here's the thing. The shit can't stay separated forever. Whether it be the energy stays with that person, comes to you, or the energy leaves that motherfucker and goes into another motherfucker. Have you ever thought about it? I mean, because if, if you ever thought about it, maybe before y'all get together, somebody else got to learn a lesson from you. If you be like, well, I'm tired. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with that. Sometime other mother, you literally got to get other people come into your life. Like fake friends. Uh, uh, or somebody like being tested with the energy that was given. Whatever to see. Can they really fucking handle that shit? Some people, that's like. You give them a nice ass meal. On a nice ass plate. But they're used to eating. Whoppers. On the block. Drinking Gatorade. That a bitch that took the top off of. And pissed in. And did spell work with your baby hair. Or connected to any other people. Around. That could have possibly. Man. I found out some deep shit. Like recent but that's another video for another time because a lot of motherfuckers is so narrow-minded they don't even seek to 
learn more about whatever the fuck's going on. People just like to say short answer. Everything happens for a reason. I'm the type of mother that want to find out what is the reason? What is the reason? Okay? Y'all need to let go of the idea of idolizing other people, be it your pastor, be it your, your mama, your daddy, whoever. You know, a lot of people stay and be miserable just for the likes of you or for your glory. Amen. Um, preach, pastor, preach. A lot of people will hold you to this high standard of you got to be this and you got to be that or you don't have God in your life. No, a true indication that you literally have God in your life is that you can like literally weigh out your bullshit and say, okay, this ain't no good for me. And I can't sleep at night dealing with what I'm dealing with. So I got to let it go. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. Because truth be told, if you examine their life, they done went through some deep fuck shit that they ain't never told nobody. Some people will carry a lie to the grave, okay? You got people doing the dirtiest shit on the backside. And because you, what I'm say, because you worshiping that person because they're in some type of a position of power or status or personality, whatever, don't fucking, man, I need to turn this TV off because I'm like looking up, like watching shit and I don't need it. I don't know where the remote is. But anyway, I turned it down and then I sat the remote somewhere. I was on the table. But I'm not going to get it. But anywho, let me just take my focus off of this here. And put my focus back right here. Stop worshiping people for what you see. The true indication that they literally have God in their life or have some kind of higher power working in their life for their best good is see how they, seeing how they get out of fuck shit situations, seeing how they handle fuck shit situations. It's not, a lot of people make videos like, oh, if this happens to you or that happens to you, you ain't blessed and God don't favor you. What the fuck? Y'all need to stop like trying to upkeep images and shit like that. Because half of the people making videos like that got the worst fucking life. And other people know about it. You know, stop that shit. If you ain't never shared a testimony of anything that ever happened in your life and you're like, nothing ever worries me. I'm always all right. I'm always good. Nobody's ever stalked me. Nobody's ever tried to have a crazy ex and they want to fight or they want to send other people to fight or they want to do this and do that i'm like this a chick finna be 40 in january and i don't have time for the fuck shit okay i'm like this i am forever changing i am forever moving around if what i do and deal with in my life do not serve me what the fuck am i still gonna hold on to it for no reason when people legit care about another person, you're not going to purposely put them in situations to where they backed in a corner to make a choice that ain't going to go in your favor. Job wise, oh my God, but that's another fucking video for another time. So let me just go ahead and end this video right here. Stop worshiping your pastor. He is human too. Like, I feel like my thoughts are all over the place about this shit because I read a couple emails this morning that was like, like literally got me in deep thought mode. So with that being said, I'm going to come back with a couple more videos pertaining to this video. Give y'all scenarios. Talk to y'all later. Bye.